Ignition and lift off of the Falcon 9 to the space station on the first commercial launch from Kennedy Space Center's historic Pad 39A. At 4.44 a.m. Central Time, 5.44 a.m. Eastern Time, as Dragon and the station flew 250 miles over Northwest Australia. Pass this around, derived from bacteria, and it's made to be totally clear so that when the roots uh, can penetrate into the gel, you guys can see them. Now, one of the things that we're going to be looking for is, is differences between how this plant grows here on Earth and the plant grows in space. Uh, does anybody have a guess as to why there's a light sensor? Because if there's too much light, the plant might die, or if there's too little light, you know. Can anybody see some features? Okay. See, like the camera that's on top of it, the yes. water, the monitor, the Exactly. So that, uh, I see a ruler to see how much the plant grows. Exactly. So one of the things that you guys will be doing is observing how uh, what the growth of this plant is over time. So the plant that you're going to be studying, I'm going to give you a little introduction to it. It's called Arabidopsis thaliana. Right? So if you guys ever become biologists, which does anybody have an interest in biology? Quite a few of you. So uh, if you guys ever become biologists and you go into plant biology specific, uh, specifically, one of the things that you'll be reading over and over in all the literature that you'll read is, uh, is uh, references to this plant because it's what's called a model organism. Right? So, yes. The water bears, how yes. do they survive such temper temperatures and heat? So they have. Would you be able to make bigger boxes um, to grow bigger plants? 